Hey you guys, so welcome to my December 2018 budget with me video. I am very excited for this month because it is the month of Christmas. Guys, now, it was a Sunday night when my husband sat down with me and we did our budget meeting. And even though we have done a budget since 2009, it is still difficult. It is so, so difficult, but I don't want that to discourage you because um, I want you to know that we're in this with you, but also the fact that you're doing a budget and trying to be better with your finances will truly set you free and open up all kinds of doors. So I hope by me sharing these videos with you, you know that you're not alone, that it encourages you in some way um, and that uh, you you actually attempt a budget and <laughs> that's the goal of this. So this video thumbs up if you guys have done your December budget. We didn't do it till December 2nd, so we were a little late to the game. You want to do a budget before the month begins, ideally. I created these um, printables, you guys, to kind of help facilitate you in the direction of doing a budget. If anything, my goal was to create a simplified version for you to write your numbers down, to keep track, and to make it something that was pretty and that you looked forward to doing every month because if you don't do it, then what is the point? I use the, uh, de the Dead is Dumb, a full planner and budget system. So uh, you get to see it in action every single month, actually every two weeks when we budget. Let's and go ahead and get started. December 18, I switched it up. I, I created, I added a December to the whole 2019 pack, you guys. I was really excited because I didn't want to wait any longer. I wanted to be intentional about December. So um, I have a calendar. So if you buy the downloads, it's now included. If you've already bought the download, I should have sent you a link in Etsy. Um, I went back and and messaged everybody that bought it so that you would have it. Um, anyway, and so anyway, here's all of our bills that are due throughout the month. I, my visual self loves this. And then also our paydays and when we had our budget meeting. Um, and then some notes. So my hubby and I, like I said, this, this budget meeting took two hours and I just wanted to remember kind of the, and the notes in summary for next time we sit down and do our budget, what we agreed on, what we decided would work best for us. Now keep in mind, every budget is going to look different. You guys, not one single budget is going to be the same and, um, you know, incomes and what you pay for rent or a mortgage or utilities, um, the amount of debt you have, it's all going to be different than the next person. So and that's okay. There's beauty in that. So notes we want to leave, um, Etsy and doTERRA money in savings until the first of the month. So my income was so variable. You guys, this budget is off of just my husband's income. We are saving my money throughout the whole month and then we will do it at the end of December for January's budget. So once I know exactly how much money I made, we'll leave that in our savings account and then budget with it in January, okay? So um, paycheck to paycheck, first paycheck is just my hubby's income. Um, my dad kicks in a little bit of money for the girls, YouTube and, um, oops, sorry, YouTube and Etsy. That is the first paycheck. The second paycheck of the month is Josh's income only. Okay. My goal, I want to hit uh, 36 sales on Etsy. I've almost hit a hundred sales on Etsy, which is so exciting. Okay. Then this is the vertical planner. So I used to have planners and I used to have budgeters and I used to have calendars and they were all in separate things. You guys drove me bananas. So the goal with this system is to be able to get a binder and some tabs and just have it all together. So that's what I've done. So this is like my notes. Um, it is on graph paper. So if you are a checklist person like me, it thrills me to know in to be able to check that off when I've done it. Um, today I want to film this video and post it tomorrow. I want to address and send Christmas cards. I can just look at my week in a glance. So Super, super nice. Okay, my goals are still the same, personal, financial, and career. Uh, savings tracker, I love this. You could save for anything that your little heart desires. We would love to pay off our truck. Okay, and then here is our full budget. So let's get started. If you have any questions, please leave them down below and I will clarify and try my very best to help you out. Um, so when you buy the pack, you get this full budget form, which is actually two pages, but then you also get a simplified version um, that still has some categories, but this is all blank. Though so That's perfect for those of you who don't have very many bills or if you're debt free, but you just want to do a budget every month, okay? Uh, we 
I love this full budget. I like the two page layout because it encompasses everything. So here we are working with um, Josh, my hubby's income for this pay period. He um, is uncomfortable. He has a lot of people that know about our videos and he just doesn't want to disclose um, our income. So I totally get that in the workplace. And anyway, so then my dad is income number two. He gives a little bit and then YouTube. So YouTube actually pays. So we know exactly uh, we can count that income in this one. And so that's what we have done. So then it just lists charity. We are spending the holiday season giving of our time. There's a really fun vlog coming up, you guys, and how we're um, giving to other people this holiday season. And then, uh, so we don't have anything there. Savings, um, nope. And housing. So our mortgage really is twenty five hundred bucks. It's ridiculous. It is housing these days is ridiculous. You guys know. I know. I know. You know what I mean. Um, our security system is fourteen ninety nine. If there's no numbers, we just don't have it. So little cash envelopes are buy the items that I pull money out to stuff our cash envelope. So our um, gas that we use for our cars is in there, $360 a month. Um, electricity, gas, water, trash, uh, cell phones, internet, and Netflix. Um, and you'll see on every one there's a total. Uh, so we spend $570.42 on utilities. Food is $1,200 a month. That is an envelope. You guys know that we are a paleo only family. We're dairy free, gluten free, uh, cause of our little, our little ones are celiac. So we have a high food budget. We do, but we're also five people. Um, and we need that. We've tried cutting it and it has not worked. So, um, so $1,200 is our food budget. Uh, nothing for clothing, medical oils. We don't get medication, but we get oils. doTERRA is hundred dollars. I cut that back this month. Um, life insurance, uh, auto insurance, identity theft that totals one ninety three sixty five. Uh, our debt, so we own our truck, our van, and a Visa card. That is total. Our debts is seven hundred twenty six dollars and eighteen cents. We are so excited to have that be zero, and we will get there. Um, personal, so. Not a whole lot. We lump our toiletries and everything, all that household stuff is either, um, we buy it mostly through doTERRA um, because it is all natural. And that's what we have to also get for our kids. So that's okay. It works. And But that is part of our food um, budget at, or the doTERRA budget. Um, okay, so Tennessee is in preschool. She has a tuition payment of two fifteen a month, and then we're really this is if we're stuffing envelopes, guys. So I foregoed my foregoed is that a word? Anyway, I don't need fun money this month because we're strapping. Uh, we're really, really, really tightening the belt on our budget this month because of Christmas. So, um, Planoly, these are my business expenses. Planoly, show it, Canva, and Microsoft Office. Uh, so that's our personal is 286. Nothing for recreation. Good thing it's Christmas. There's tons of free things to do with our family, so we don't have to spend any money. Um, and so, okay, you'll see down here my hubby's income. We do not want it. So what you want to do, you guys, is take your income, and there's kind of notes on here minus your category totals. Okay, so you'll see all your totals down here. You want to add up all of those totals. That's why I love this sheet. It makes it super, super simple. And then you want to take your income minus your category totals, and that's what you're left with. And you, this is supposed to equal a zero. So because we have switched this around because we were really getting confused with my income, a lot of you who have uh, our direct sales or irregular income like realtors, you it, it's really hard to count <laughs> what your monthly income is going to be. So we chose to do this budget just based on um, my hubby's primarily income and my income will get banked all month into our savings account and then like i said we we'll, we will budget for it will be the last paycheck of the month so it will be this december 28th paycheck that's when we'll count my income so it's going to sit in savings all month minus that 266.25 we'll be able to pull that out when we need it um but above that, and then we will budget with it on the 28th for January. So that's how we're choosing to handle our irregular income. You guys can do it any way you want to. That just works. I think it will work really well for us. Hopefully it helps you too if you don't know how to budget with that. It's complicated, I know. Um, 
And then our expense trackers. So my hubby reminded me we shouldn't have any expenses, receipts to write down because it's like no spend month, seriously. So for us, um, but I do have some business expenses. I ship packages, you know, at the post office. So I will save those receipts and write them down as well as when we go grocery shopping and things like that. So for the month of December, I want to focus on giving rather than receiving. Um, and I, I like to give a lot. So my giving has to be in our budget or I have to talk to my husband first about it before I go giving to other people um, because I don't want it to take away from our budget. And then a goal, uh, my goal is a strong start to the new year with our finances. We want to start January of 2019 fresh and really, really strong. And we don't want to blow it in December and have have to compensate for it in January. Okay. And then our paycheck. Yeah. So expense tracker. Um, we will not be writing down very many expenses <laughs> and then our paycheck to paycheck tracker. So, um, I like this. You're just taking your bills that, and you're transferring from this sheet over to this sheet. And uh, these are our four envelopes, groceries, gas, Tennessee's tuition, and our truck is at a different bank. It's kind of complicated, but we have to drive there. So we like to take cash to that bank and pay it. Um, so that's an envelope. And then water, car insurance, visa sell. We just transfer all of our bills. And now we're ending up with a negative 554 cents. I was really freaking out because that's a negative. And Josh was like, okay, this, we, how we structure is we pay all of our bills for throughout the month, um, with one paycheck. So even though it shows a negative, um, remember I said that 266, uh, 25, we are, you know, that's pulling out of my income of probably mid month out of that savings account. And then the rest gets picked up in this paycheck. So there's a little bit left from this next paycheck. So we've lumped all of our bills. Most people don't do that, but we did. So we are not behind. It's just showing behind on paper, um, but that's okay. It's only temporary. So let's see. So then we go to cash envelopes. Okay. So you're going to want to take your, um, remember these little things that I had the cash envelopes for. We have already purchased groceries guys for the first of the month. Um, first two weeks of the month. And as well as, uh, we put gas in our cars and Tennessee's tuition has been paid. So all we need is half of our groceries and half of our gas for our vehicles. So we are pulling that out. We're just writing that down. Now, when we are funding cash envelopes like crazy, this list will be bigger. But right now we're tightening down, so we're not. Um, but anyway, it equals $780. So then you go down here and you just run a tally sheet. Um, groceries we want in 20. So we take $600 divided by $20, tally nine marks. And that equals nine twenty dollar bills. Okay, then for uh, groceries we just need six hundred dollars, six one hundred dollar bills. So six there, and then we transfer it down here. And this is what we cut out and actually give to the bank teller. So it makes life so much simpler. So you want to hand this to her, and it would show, hey, I need nine twenties for my account and twenty dollar bills, and I need six one hundred dollar bills for my account for a total of seven hundred and eighty dollars. So it's just less confusing on everybody's part. Okay, so debt snowball. I cannot wait to fill this out in January. We that's part of our plan to start January strong is to really hit our debt like crazy. Um, priorities this is for days when I'm just gonna lose it <laughs> and I'm overwhelmed. Um, I will fill out this paper throughout the month, guaranteed. And then notes so just notes, podcasts that I'm loving right now, scripture that I need to hear. I like to leave notes to myself, it's just for myself. I could also move this page to wherever I want in this in this month, and then we start January. So at the end of December. So that's it, you guys. This is our December 18 budget. If you have any questions, leave it down below. If you love this video give it a thumbs up please subscribe and let us know if this is motivating to you if it's confusing how are you feeling um, just doing a budget we really want to help you guys out so again these printables are available in my Etsy shop that link will be down below have a great day you guys we'll see you later